everyone so yes i'm so glad to be back like twice today and so today i'm going to be showing you how to make this persephone bracelet that was designed by lumi.pineapple on instagram i'll make sure to mention her instagram profile in the description box below so make sure to check that out so this aluminum hook design and let's just go and get started by the way this is the back side before we get started i just want to mention that um, I totally recommend using two looms. I used two looms in this one, and um, it's kind of long. Maybe you can use like one, two, and a three, a four loom, but don't use one loom. It's going to be too short, and yeah. So I'm going to just grab my board band, just go outwards and outwards. Now I'm just going to go forwards all the way up my loom. So I'm going to close in the end, and now I'm going to go back to the bottom. So the colors that I'm going to be using, I'm pretty sure isn't going to turn out good, but I just don't have them with you. I just need to go with it, because basically I don't have time. So first of all, I'm just going to grab your first band. I'm going to go like that. Then grab another one and go like that. And repeat. So go like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Then you're gonna go so on like that. Yep. And that. So now I'm just gonna do your middle single chain. And just go up like that normally. So in the end, just make a cap band. Now I'm just gonna go in the cap band and grab the top band, loop it forwards. Now I'm gonna loop the middle single chain band forwards all the way up. I know I'm rushing. I really need to save time for the border because it might take some time for you to understand the border. So now we're just going to go in here and grab this band, top band, just loop it up, not here, but up, and do the same thing. And yes. No, I'm super duper rushing. I just wanted to show you like a bit more in the border than in the um, loom part because in the loom part, it's like super simple. So now I'm just gonna go on the cap band, grab the top band, loop it outwards and outwards. Now I'm gonna go in everything, grab the bottom band, loop it forwards and forwards, and I'm just gonna loop a normal border. I'm gonna be showing you one side, then I'm gonna do the other off camera. Oops. I'm going to close and do the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to take it off your loom. Make sure you don't get tricked with the side that is in the front. The side that is in the front is like this side when the bands like go upwards. This one goes down, this one goes up and make sure the C-clip is on top. So now we're going to start the border. So we're just going to go in the cap band. And pull through a white border band like that and now you're gonna just skip this band and you're gonna go to the next one and what you're gonna do is you're gonna like grab this like top band like this second from the top and just pull it like this and then you're gonna grab the color that is like the same with the color that is in the end of the hook and you're gonna grab that band pull it only through the first two loops and grab a border band and pull it through everything. So she'll be like this. I'm going to be showing you again. So I'm going to grab the band that is like um, in the front, like the second from the front. And then I'm going to grab that same band color. Or if you want to do co different colors, you can then go on, pull it through the first two and grab a board color and pull it through all of them, like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in here again, grab this band and pull it through the first two loops and pull it through all the loops, like this. And do it again. Make sure you don't grab the wrong bands because if we do, it's going to turn out different. Like this. Oops. Only two bands. I did the wrong thing. 
Make sure don't do any of those mistakes. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? Super sorry. And I'm just going to be continuing this side until I reach the end and I'll be back. <clears throat> so we're going to grab that one last band there and it is not okay. And so pull it through for two loops. Grab your white band and just do this like that. You're done with one side. Now we're going to proceed to the other side. So you're just basically going to do the same thing, but reversely. So pull it like that. And I'm going to skip this first one that only has one band. Go to the next one and grab the top one. There. Then I'm going to grab a band that is the same color with the band that is like on the tip of my hook. And pull it through the first two loops. And grab a white band. Pull it through everything. Now I'm going to like grab this one next. Grab the same color as that one and like that and grab a white band, pull it through the first, yeah, and then grab this band and then I'm going to grab the same color as the band on the tip of my hook like that and pull a border band. Sorry for that noise and go and insert your hook through here, grab a band like that and pull it, go in here, grab a band, pull it and grab a blue band, pull it through for two loops and do it like that. Yep. <clears throat> and so yeah, like that and you're done. So this is why I told you to use like two limbs. Since this is kind of a white bracelet, then I think you need two limbs. Yeah. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you do. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. Once again, this was designed by Luma.Panapple on Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye!